this is my printer bot simple it's printing a part for my new build I'm building a mini castle delta design this is printing the effector the part that goes in the middle that holds the hot end for the new mini hot castle Kossel, how are you pronounce it? It's German, I don't speak German. So, this effector will have the uh, carbon fiber rod, rods attached to it, and it will hold the E3D hot end. It'll have the uh, auto bed levi leveling probe attached and hanging off the side. I'm going to use Ian Lee's. This is Ian Lee's design for a E3D hot end. And then I'm going to use his uh, design for the attachment to mount the auto leveling probe. And then I've got to print the uh, effector mount that goes underneath this that will mount uh, and hold the uh, hot end. I've put uh, on my simple here, I've got um, from Michael's, I bought a octagon mirror that. Um, that now I, I, I taped it down, but I could use clips. Um, and then I use glue stick, and this works perfectly. I just print over and over and over and over again. Sometimes I scrape it off, scrape the glue off with a little, uh, with this uh, paint scraper. But um, yeah, this printer bot simple. I made some modifications. You can see here the uh, I've done a Y carriage alignment. Uh, the Y carriage was sagging, so this has a 15% uh, slope to and tightens up the uh, Y carriage. And I have vibration dampeners underneath here here and here. I need to print some new ones. The ones that are on there are pretty ugly. I have not, I, I've had this working really well for about a month. I've got the parts in October, but uh, it took me a couple months to deal with all of the issues. I turned up the current on the uh, motor here for the uh, extruder. It's got a direct extruder here. And I uh, turned up the current on it because it wasn't forcing enough in and then I put some fans on I mean some uh, heat sinks on it just in case you know it doesn't really get very hot I had to uh, inside here I had to scrape off a piece of wood because it was keeping the uh, bearing from pushing the filament against the gear so I wasn't uh, I had a few problems. I was, the extruder wasn't working, basically, um, for quite a while, a couple of months. Finally got that fixed. It was surprising that I was able to print any parts at all. <laughs> but it's working now. It's been an amazing project. Okay, this will take another 20 minutes to print. But uh, hopefully with the new uh, Delta design, I'll be able to uh, get a lot faster, better quality, and bigger parts. Let's see. Let's go over here and uh, look at this. Okay, I've got all of the uh, parts. I've got the uh, bottom frame here uh, pretty much put together for the new printer. Got the 
borosilicate glass. You can just use them. I've also bought some mirrors at Michael's, seven inch mirrors. This is the uh, hot end. I've got, I printed a, a new fan mount. This is the one that came with it. Got a little fan there. I've got uh, the end stops here. I've got the uh, connectors to put on the end stops and then I'll crimp the wires. I've got uh, uh, wire over here that I'm going to use. Uh, this is the tube to hold all the wires. Here's the belts with the uh, I'm going to either use these belt clips or I've got I've got to print two more uh, belt tensioners. These are the little tabs that go at the bottom of the uh, high wind uh, rails and carriages, those little tabs will go down here at the bottom here and attach to the uh, extruders. Like, so I've got the three, uh, three columns here, I've got the three top uh, rails here, I, I just haven't got the uh, top frame parts yet. So, well actually I tried to put those together but I cracked them. So here's the uh, carbon fiber rods with the uh, plastic that goes on the carriages. This will uh, this will fit on here like that. This will this will be the top, and then uh, the end stops. So it'll, it'll hit the end stops. Well, here's the end stops. Uh, I've attached those to the pieces. These are the uh, push fit connectors. That one of them goes on top of the. Uh, effector and the other one goes with with the extruder here's my uh, here's my adreno mega 2560 with the uh, ramps 1.4 on top and I bought uh, uh, five uh, steppers one two three four and a fifth one here I uh, they weren't soldered so I borrowed a neighbor's soldering iron and uh, he showed me how to solder but I connected two of the pins on this one so I need to clean that off. This power supply these brackets came with the plastic kit but they don't fit this power supply I got a uh, 12 volt uh, 12 was it? Uh, it's a uh, 12 volt 10 amp uh, so it's 120 watts and then the uh, USB cable to connect with the uh, circuit boards. Here's the uh, extruder motor and the extruder parts. I just need to put that together and uh, I think that's about it. Just need to get the top frame parts in the mail and then uh, I'll be putting everything together. And the little simple just keeps on going here. Making a new effector for me. Okay. Thanks for watching.